at the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation here in Nairobi, Kenya. It is uh, the 27th of October 2020. My name is Ram Maguko. Warm welcome to you. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. This is the stand. Tonight, it's all about the Building Bridges Initiative. Yesterday, at the Bombers of Kenya, uh, the Building Bridges Initiative report was launched. And uh, just as the president said that the, this document has been worked on for a period of two years. And uh, this is in order to find out what are the ailing uh, situations of the country, what are, what are the possible solutions towards these problems. Now, many political leaders attended this event, including the deputy president, the former prime minister, key political party leaders. And Parliament from the, from the National Assembly, the Senate, and other organizations. To this report, who uh, called the president, that is, uh, called on Kenyans to be able to read the BBI report and make informed decisions on uh, the document that has been uh, sought to bring peace in the country. Now, how can we ensure unity in diversity? That is the question. Is it possible to lay a foundation for this country objectively? And more importantly, will uh, this be the solution towards the winner take it all question? Tonight, we want to understand the BBI report. How can we ensure inclusivity in diversity? Joining me, I'm, I, I'll, I'm joined by Frederick Okango. He is the Secretary General of Third Way Alliance Kenya and also the promoter of the popular initiative on constitutional amendments known as the Punguza Mizigo Kenya. He's joining me tonight. Karibu sana, Frederick. Thank you. Now, I'm, joined, I'm giving you two minutes to address the nation. What is your stand concerning the BBI report? How does it bring solutions to Kenya's problems. Your two minutes starts now. Thank you very much. As you know, the challenges that this country is facing are very many. Those challenges are socioeconomic and political. Any constitutional amendment that will not solve the issues or challenges that are socioeconomical or political is a constitutional amendment that the people might not need. Fortunately, the constitutional amendment process that we are undergoing today, that we are seeing today, that we are discussing today, the BBI, the Punguza Mizigo, all of them are geared towards amending the cushion for the benefit of Kenya. These amendments are geared towards effecting the changes that people need at the world level, at the county level, and nationally. And that's why, as Punguza Mizigo, we are glad that the task force saw it fit to take nine out of the 15 issues that we raised and accommodated in the, in, in, in the task force report. And therefore, we believe that the task force acknowledges that Punguza Mizigo is one of the best and surest ways of amending this question. And as the president said yesterday, it is time for national conversation. The conversation has begun, and that's my stand. All right. Thank you very much, Fred. You may have your seat there. Now, introducing my next guest joining me tonight on the stand is Julius Juma. He is an advocate, a constitutional lawyer, and a senior partner at J Law Advocates. Karibu sana, Julius. Thank you, Ram. And uh, I'm giving you two minutes to address the nation, giving us your stand. What is your stand concerning the BBI report? And uh, how does it bring solutions to Kenya's problems? Your two minutes. Thank you so now. much, Ram, and welcome, viewers. Now, the moment uh, that uh, Kenya was colonized by the British in 1895, the clamor for good governance commenced. Uh, we fought the colonial masters for more than 50 years from 1895 to 1963 to give ourselves a document of good governance. In 1963, we got a document that we called Independence Constitution. It was a document that was good at the moment because the idea was that it gave us self-rule. However, immediately we passed it, or rather immediately we got it, and we realized that it was not very good after all. And so the clamor for improving it continued. In fact, the following year, in 1964, it was amended so as to declare us a republic. And so this continued until 2010. By the time we were 
uh, giving to ourselves the current constitution that we are now discussing today, we had amended the independence constitution 44 times. The idea is that giving yourselves good governance is work in progress. Now, to discuss BBI today or to discuss the Kenyan constitution 2010 must be done in context. Now, why have we been amending the constitution since 1963? Why do we want to amend the current one? Now, the task force report identified a number of viruses, if you, you allow me to call them so, that have been eating Kenya. They went across the country, they said that they spoke to a number of people from uh, uh, all, all walks of life. Uh, they spoke with gov governance experts, they spoke with uh, Raya Wakawaida, they spoke with uh, 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 religious leaders, they spoke with people of all walks of life. Of, of life. They were given these viruses. Now, the BBI report that was launched yesterday mm -hmm. gives a number of solutions. It may not be the perfect answer, but it's going to be an improvement to what we have currently. All right. That is Julius Juma, you may have your seat there. Thank you. Now, as the deputy president said, that it is our civic duty to be able to read and understand this document echoed also by the president and key leaders. That is their stand. What is yours? Have you read the BBI document? What do you think about it? This is the stand and the stand starts now.